We next turn our attention to the welterweight division and about once again scheduled for three three minute rounds. These two fighters enter the glory ring with a combined 158 career fights. First of all, fighting out of the black corner, a veteran of over 50 career fights set to make his third glory appearance. As a professional, 49 wins with 11 losses, 18 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Standing six feet, two inches tall, 1.90 meters, he weighed in at 169.8 pounds and even 77 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Cologne, Germany, here is Jihad, the Punisher, a keeper. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a WBC Muay Thai champion and a European and World Max champion. His professional record is impressive. 69 wins, 26 losses, three bouts scored even with 40 career knockouts. He stands six feet even, 1.85 meters, and he too weighed in at 169.8 pounds and even 77 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Suriname by way of the Netherlands. He is the former glory welterweight champion of the world. He is Myrtle, the Predator, Grunhard. And your referee for this contest is Edward Stryker. Okay, guys, three rounds of three minutes. Listen always to my co comments and protect yourself at all times. Top gloves if you want. Yeah, a lot of bad blood yesterday at the weigh-in, Joe. Forehead to forehead, some pushing and shoving. They right. won't touch gloves. Akifa in the black gloves, Grunhart in the white. And I don't think they're going to waste any time getting right after it. No, but you can see Myrtle use these kicks right away, where Akifa's no more for his boxing. Akifa actually looking like the bigger fighter. Yeah, Akifa telling us that his goal since he was a kid was to become glory champion. His trainer wants him to focus more Watch on out. MMA. He said, I'm not going to do it. I'm all in on glory. And he knows what a win tonight would mean against Grunhardt. And it looks like there's a headbutt cut from Akifa. That was quick. Must have clashed heads on that exchange. Yeah. And that's not the way you want to start a fight. Yeah. No fight. Protect yourself all fight. Yes, there was no red button. Yeah. What? So Akipa already tasting his own blood here. That might encourage him to go for broke early. Yeah, Akipa's so jab strong, but Myrtle's got to show his experience here. Referee <laughs> Eric Stryker went down. Remember last time we saw him in the Plaza Bot fight against the Sorrow? He got punched in the face by Plaza Bot. Oh gosh. Somebody get an insurance policy on Edward Stryker. Oh, nice head movement and counters for Myrtle. This is that inside Brent. pressure Brent. that Myrtle Brent. wants to bring. He knows Akipa's dangerous on range. So if you're Myrtle, you're all in or all out. Yeah, Myrtle coming right after Akipa. Much more aggressive than he was in his last fight for the title. Yeah, I mean, Andy Semelier is the champ for a reason. It's very hard to hit, but Akipa's coming. Really slamming those punches. Says he's younger and fresher. Yeah. Can Myrtle sustain a pace like this? Yeah, it's very sloppy so far. Can't get into a rhythm yet. Neither fight. Right. Guys working in his finish. Fight! Yeah, remember, Akipa, 11 years younger than Grunhardt. Actually, nine years younger. My math is off. 36 and 27. Big Mike, the longtime trainer and almost a father figure for Myrtle. Scrappy exchanges in the inside here. Good low kick from Myrtle. And goes to the body. Both men breathing heavy already. Yeah, they're whipping everything in these inside. Then grabbing and clinching. They're fatiguing their own arms in this clinching. Right. 
Listen, break your stop. Fight! Not the most technically yes. pleasing round. No, it's, it's kind of like two guys in the parking lot just trying to hash it out. Fight! Very messy. Break. One of my favorite fighters of all time, Peter Ertz. Has this push-off head kick. I you kind could, of practice after him. If you paid him enough money, I bet he'd jump into that heavyweight tournament right now. Oh, yeah. No problem. No problem. No problem. Fight! I'm pretty sure he fought, like, last year. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, keep it going right after Grunhardt. Oh, big right hand. Four of the five judges gave that first round to... Runehart. Fight! Joe, what, why is this fight so sloppy? What's the problem? Here? Well, I, I think a little bit is the Akipa style of MMA too, right? He has the natural ability to want to clinch and kind of press you against the, the ropes or the cage. He has a good job at using different strategies. See how he kind of grabs you into that low body lock? It's a little bit more of an MMA strategy. He's jumping Fight. between sports, which sometimes makes it difficult. Now some inside boxing from Grunhart. He doesn't mind doing this. Better watch out for those knees from Akipa, who's landing the left now. Oh, he just ate a head kick, but Akipa just hasn't stopped throwing for the last 30 seconds. Yeah, Akipa's mean mugging Mertzel, too. This seems personal. Yeah, see how he grabs that body lock? That's more of an MMA mean? technique. And MMA, if you can get that body lock, it's the best position you want. Not in kickboxing. See that body shots from Akipa now. I think they're adding up. The way he slams his, all of his weight into it. Sometimes this is where Myrtle gets dangerous. He has these fast counter shots out of nowhere. This is where the Myrtle experience. Don't think he's right. gassed or doesn't have that right. next kind of drive to get into. The next gear. Oh. Yeah, see? He'll catch you with something. Very animated is the corner of a keeper. They believe Myrtle's slowing down. Stand up. Nice jab from Akipa. You see the big tattoo on the back of Myrtle there, the triple X, which is on the flag of Amsterdam. Guys, they're working in the clinch. Clinching, working. Fight! Some labored punches yeah. happening here in this end of the second. Perfect word to describe it. Not as quick as they were in that first round, but Akipa's consistent. Really? Yeah, Grunhardt's output has Fight! slowed to a drip. Yeah, and he's not even countering as much as he was before. Could be the style really? of Akipa just clinching in and out, grabbing Fight! nonstop, but not much from Myrtle. Third and final round. Fight! Welterweight division. They'll go right at it. I like Myrtle throwing his punches first, trying to be first. Yes. Move his head, find the jab. One, two, move his feet. Instead of just kind of staying shelled up to let a keeper do this. So interesting scores, Joe. Fight! Four judges have it even. One has it 2018 for Grunhardt. 
So it all comes down to this. And Myrtle finds some energy. Yeah, fatigue could be the ultimate factor here. Did Akipa waste his energy in that second round? It's the old who wants it more routine. Yep, let's dig. Would you like to see them be more selective with their punches? They're throwing so many that are hitting nothing but air. I just think at this point, they're just letting their bodies throw the punches. So it's not like they can snap them very well. So that's why you see them kind of throwing their weight behind the punches. That's why they're a little bit slower. The snap is gone. But ideally, being more selective is the answer. Yeah, that first round was like a grudge match. But if you don't have the power for those strike selection, at this point, it's just putting combinations, being the busier fighter. The last scoring criteria comes down to aggression. So put some combinations out. Normally, you'd say, hey, Myrtle has the experience edge. She's going to know what to do to close this out. But Akipa has 60 pro fights himself. Yeah, and he's boxed. I think he's done kickboxing. He's done MMA. Multiple sport athlete. Back to that body lock he likes. Good start to the round here for Bowl. Oh, though. There's four or five shots. They don't have to be hard ones, but those little ones will add up. Yeah, Keepa's trying to hold on, and Myrtle's not letting him, and down he goes. That'll be a slip. Fight. But good news here for Myrtle, who's found a second win. And it's still a minute left for him. Even those little shots as he's coming in. A Keepa tried a flying knee, can barely stand up. Now the boys are awake. Boy, the judges are seeing what we're seeing. Akipa desperately holding on. Yeah, I mean, Myrtle's stealing this third. Especially with the hook uppercut, hook uppercut as Akipa's trying to close that distance. That's the strategy. There you go, Myrtle, those uppercut hooks. Boy, a dig deep performance here for Grunhart in the third. I don't even think Akipa can bring his hands back to his head. He's moving his head to try to get his defense going. He's staring at the clock, and this is not what Akipa should be doing. He should be going for broke. He's about to lose this fight. Oh, a little headbutt in there for Myrtle, but here he goes. Myrtle sits him down. Fight. Big knee from Myrtle, and that just sealed the deal. The Predator, what a performance right. here in round three. And it looks like he's done enough, Joe. I mean, that last little fury, those inside uppercut hooks, that knee. Seems like he did enough, but came down to that third round. Good fight, boys. I tell you what, in between rounds two and three, how much would you have bet that Myrtle wasn't going to be able to do that? Uh, that's why the third round made the fight for me. You know, the first two rounds were a little bit sloppier, but the third round really kind of lived up to it. Wow. Great. Cardio from Myrtle, and you can see on the right side of your screen, Milano, who was his trainer, did the job, or so it seems, the decision when we return. Here are the highlights from this welterweight showdown. The first round was sloppy, messy, yeah, but Akipa was, yeah, was able to get it done in that first, though. I mean, he was coming there, pressing forward, and then just kept, in that second round, kept pressing forward. Myrtle playing on the black foot in the second round, but in the third round, it came out to this third and final round, and Myrtle just found it. an extra gear here, finding these little short punches on the inside as Akipa's trying to close distance. Myrtle here mixing these punches, getting offline. You can see both fatigue, but those angles of Myrtle, those uppercuts, those hooks, just made something special in this third round. No doubt Myrtle was more accurate as we look at our final strike count statistics. 72 of 189 compared to 69, 238 for Shiad Akipa. Strikes by round, not back and forth, but the last round, Myrtle Grunhart found another gear, his second win, and appears to have done enough. But it ain't over until Tim Hughes says it's over. Here we go. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. One judge sees it 29-28, but the four remaining judges all have it 30-27. It's a unanimous decision, all for your winner, Myrtle Grunhardt.
I'm here with Myrtle Grunhart. The return has started, my friend. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, as you saw. A little rusty in the first round, but uh, the, the, when I come up in the, in the next round, you know, the third round, I came a little bit uh, back to myself a little bit. Yeah, what was Big Mike telling you there? Because that fight came down to that third round and you were just finding that extra gear. Yeah, he told me to fight. That's what you do. Don't get it back to the point system and stuff like that. Just fight. That's the predator. He fights. That's what I did. All right, Myrtle, I know you always have plans and strategies. Where do you see yourself next going in your career? Uh, like I said before, you know, I want to end up with the, uh, with the glory belt. So. All right, well, we're here in Holland. You got any words for your supporters who've been following you for so many years? I want to thank you guys, all my fans out there, all the non-believers, the believers. Thank you for following my journey. Like I said, I'm not finished yet. I'm still here. And I still want to grow. Hoes. Thank you very much for the stuff for the time. So, thank you all. I love you, and especially for my team. You know they've been there for me from the beginning. You know I was lost, but they just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Hoes. All right, Rotterdam. Let's hear it for your winner, the Predator, Myrtle Grunhart. The old famous line from The Godfather. I try to get out, and they pull me back in. And right now, Myrtle feels good that they pulled him back in because he picked up a big win over the Punisher, Chiad Akipa.